before we power the computer on, we need to give all the connections a once over. Press down on the data cable connections on the motherboard and drives. It's easy for them to come partially out while we've been working in the case. Press down on the expansion cards as well. Also make sure that all the power connectors are on solid. We want to leave the cover off for now, so when we power the computer on, we can make sure that all the fans are running. Go around to the back of the computer and plug in the speakers. Green is standard for the speaker connection on most sound cards and motherboards. Then plug the speaker's power cable into the outlet and power them on. Plug the video cable from the monitor into your video card and connect the monitor's power cable into the outlet. For the keyboard and mouse, check for a sticker which indicates the correct USB ports to connect them to. On some motherboards, only a few of the USB ports will be recognized in the BIOS. Then connect the power cable from the outlet into the power supply and flip the primary power switch to ON. Turn on the monitor and press the power button on the computer. Look in the case to make sure the processor cooling fan and the case fans are spinning. With some motherboards, the CPU cooling fan will spin for a moment and then stop. The CPU fan won't spin again until the CPU reaches a certain temperature. All of the fans are running and we can hear the hard drive spinning up. On the front of the case, we see the DVD recordable drive's access light flashing. We also have video on the monitor, which we'll go into in the computer setup lessons.